Today we are going to cover Xcode, what it is. So Apple Xcode is a developer platform. You can take advantage of Swift user interface. Swift is a programming language that is used in Xcode along with Objective-C. It is an integrated development environment for Mac OS that contains a suite of a lot of software development tools. Those are developed by Apple for developing apps and web applications on Mac OS iOS, iPad OS, Watch OS, and TV OS. So I have already installed it. You could install it from App Store. You could go to App Store and you could just install it onto your MacBook or your uh, you know device you're using. You type Xcode here. Once you do that, this is the particular developer tools that you can get, and you could download it here by clicking this particular icon. Once you do that, and you know you will definitely be able to read more things about on to preview how it looks what it includes includes everything developer needs to create great applications for mac iphone ipad and then it's a unified workflow for designing your see, people you must have heard about uh, user in, user experience design how people develop their apps so those those different functionalities you'll be able to achieve using uh, using xcode and then one small screen that you see here is the xcode simulator what the simulator does is it, it gives you onto your desktop gives you a iphone or ipad or watch side of thing where you could develop an app and test it on your iphone um, platform so basically something that that we have here so it, it is it actually is very much simulated to your iphone so over here we are using iphone x onto the simulator and you could go to Safari, you could type you know, your channel name or you could go to any particular website. It functions exactly the same as your iPhone. It's just on a desktop to test your apps. Now we'll open the Xcode and I'm, I've been working on developing some apps onto, and uh, you know, I could just go there, my playground, I could do that. I could open up that particular uh, you know, code that I was working on. Use it as going to the this screen where I'd say blank game map or single view, I could just click map, do next, and then I would have to choose a particular location where I wanna save it. So I wanna go to desktop and I wanna go to this GIT folder that I just created. It's called the repository in this case. And then I could just, so we run this code and we got this particular screen. And now I, let's say, so this is a preloaded template. You can make changes to the code. Once you make changes to the code, it will show it in real time over here. So let's say if we go here and that's just for the sake of changing the name of this particular location, we change it to really a little things. You can make any, any kind of change over here that you like to, and you run this. So same, same kind of uh, changes would be reflected on this live view. So once this runs, you know, instead of Apple over here, you would be able to see very little things. So that way you can set up a particular, so you see, as you see very little things, this way you could set up, um, you know, your, your own apps, you could make changes. That's how Uber and Lyft and, and applications like that are making their own platforms. So thanks guys for joining us, for, lis for listening to this amazing video on how to develop apps on iOS, just an introduction. And if you have any app interest or you want to you know, make any app and you want some help or you're looking or stuck with some code, please do uh, not hesitate to send your comments in the comment section below. Do like a subscribe us and we will definitely try to help you out or give answers or make interesting videos. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks.